Hey everyone, it's Maria here, makeup artist and green beauty expert. Today I wanna to share a really quick tip with you when it comes to lipstick. You might have a situation like this happening in your washroom. And of course, I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. However, when it comes to choosing the right shade of lipstick for you, it's not just what's in style, what's in season, or what someone else is wearing. You saw it on them, you love it on them. It doesn't mean that it's gonna look the same on you. So if you wanna learn about my one single tip on choosing the best lipstick shade for you, then keep watching. The best shade for your lips is the one that is one shade darker from your natural lip color. Now, this is something that was said to us um, back when I was in makeup school and it has kind of stuck with me. And you know, of course, as a makeup artist, I have tons of shades and tons of lipsticks in my house. However, um, I have found that this tip kind of it comes true time and time again. So um, I'll show you what I mean. Like, so these are my lips with no color on. All right, so um, they could be a little bit deeper than other people's. Maybe they're a little bit lighter than other people's. The point is that a lot of people's lips, everybody's lips, I should say, varies. And you have to look at them without anything on. Now, a lipstick would not look the same on someone like me who has slightly, you know, like a darker pink, right? You can see that they're actually quite pigmented, a darker pink uh, shade of lips with someone who is more fair than me that has a lighter, really pale shade of pink. The lipstick would probably look darker on them, right? I mean, it makes sense. It's a getting applied on a lighter surface. So I'm gonna do this little tip with you just to show you that when I hold the lips, the lipsticks up to my mouth, they don't all kind of, um, you know, blend in or go along with this really, uh, you know, pink natural shade that I have. So we're gonna start with something. So I'm gonna use a variety of lipsticks. Right now I'm using the Tint Feather lipsticks. This shade here is Vibe, all right? So, you know, I mean, of course, if you wanna go for a nude lip, you could do that, but you have to remember that it actually might uh, wash you out, make you look more pale. So always go for, you know, what your lip color is, and then, you know, um, hold the lipstick up, Right, so this one here is probably not gonna do much. I would probably say it might be like exactly the same as my lip color. All right, so there's that. And these are my old testers, by the way. Uh, Tin Feather has now changed their packaging. All right, so let's hold another one up. This one is a favorite shade of mine. This one here is Velour. Can you see it's it's warmer? Right, it's a lot warmer than my lips are. All right, looks nice with this bronzer I have going on. All right, but a little bit warmer, a little bit more on the brown side. Now, I love this lip color, but um, you know, I don't think it's the best shade for me. So if you had to go shopping and choose the best shade for you, what would it be? Now, this one here is Victorian. This one here is, you know, not bad. Right? Can you see what I mean? If you wanna go really, really bold, of course you can always do that, right? But here it's like we're going for a statement lip. Um, now, the other things to remember is that, of course, you know, you can wear something bright like this. Of course, it has to do with your undertones and what you're attracted to. And I find that sometimes we are attracted to things that do look good on us. It's the same with um, clothing, with the colors of clothing. But for the lip, always keep this tip in mind that you have to choose one shade darker. So have a look at your lips with nothing on. I mean, shopping for a lipstick when you already have lipstick on um, might make things a little bit more difficult. All right. And for me, these shades are here. All right, so I could definitely go for Victorian or this one here, which is a little bit darker, more pop of a color, which is Valerie. All right, so look at this.
Okay, everyone, so that was it for today. Just a quick one. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more quick tips and green beauty advice. I'll catch you next time. Bye.